Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Fanatic Official, your honest guide to the cryptoverse. Today I'm going to talk about Tenet, which is one of the most anticipated projects launching this month. So Tenet is incubated by um, Dollmaker team. It's a decentralized finance protocol focused in EVM. So like EVM is like, you know, Ethereum, BSC, that sort of um, chain. Layer one project, it's focusing on bringing liquidity and yield to liquid staking. And it allows liquid staking to restake to the network and be used for the DeFi ecosystem by using a new consensus mechanism uh, for the proof of staking. This also lets, you know, uh, for example, stake it function to be participating in different validation, making it more secure compared to the current um, way that's happening. So that's pretty much what it is. And currently we have uh, this project as largest vertical in the $18 billion uh, DeFi vertical industry. And no one has really figured out how to extract the full liquidity and utility. So Tenet is trying to solve that by their technology. What's very important is they're the most secure blockchain. So they're going to be a diversified proof of staking verification for it. And it uses the liquid staking, as I've mentioned, for most of the network to participate in the validation. And that makes uh, Tenet very hard to break when they combine the strength of BNB, Chain, Matic, and Polkadot. The liquidity, as I've mentioned, liquid LSD or LSDD, um, it can be utilized for the DeFi ecosystem with the VTenet, the voting scroll token that they have. And you've seen the concept with other projects like Ramses. And it's a simple wallet. So they have a EVA wallet, which is AI driven, and they have a mobile wallet, which is um, using utilizing the AI chat. This basically helps users to find anything related to the DeFi uh, information and interact with the pre-approved on-chain actions. And all of this comes uh, in Tenet's ecosystem and in the native third-party applications as well that are dedicated to the liquid staking. All the native apps, including LSD, stable coins, and LSTCs um, are the first ever stable coins that are going to be backed by decentralized assets. And this is going to be an automated market maker for bringing the liquidity also into Tenet Network. What makes it very different and unique is there's a lost, vast number of features that they have. Um, and it's going to be one of the most advanced DeFi blockchains that are going to be developed. It's going to be operating on... Um, Cosmos as an EVM layer one. So it's going to be composability of money. As you know, Cosmos is famous for that. Uh, but also it has the EVM network library of Ethereum. So it could um, move around different chains that are EVM backed, which are majority of blockchain projects. And the consensus model is like an industry first uh, model to validate through the major tokens liquid staking, what is more uh, popular in the industry, basically. Um, I've covered the rest of this so far and they're com comparing it to other projects. So similar to uh, Eigenlayer that hasn't been launched, they are proof of staking. Uh, Tenet is a uh, double proof of staking, more secure than typical proof of staking. That's why it's called DAI. It's a layer one on its own, whereas Eigen is in Ethereum and Vera Chain is its own. It has multi-chain LSD. Um, it gives you earning extra rewards with uh, STAPY yield staking. It doesn't have any VC backers in comparison to Eigen and Vera Chain. Its valuation is 24 million, while the valuation of uh, Eigen Layer is 1 billion and the Vera Chain is 420. Uh, it has the DeFi wallet of uh, EVA AI wallet, and they don't have any AI wallet. And then the liquid staking dollar stable coin that they have. They don't have that liquid staple coin. So these are the key differences that um, you see. Now, what is also a differentiator in the roadmap is the Q3 2022, the development occurred. In Q4, Tenet blockchain development uh, started and the testnet in Q1, uh, alpha for EVA and the LSD hub alpha commenced. The blockchain uh, beta and EVA beta is happening right now and allocation mining um, has started right now. Allocation finalists will be announced. The LSD hub beta as well as uh, the DEX launch will happen now. So all the IDO and launch will be happening now. Mainnet will come in Q3. Uh, full launch of EVA uh, wallet as well as the LSD prime 
will happen more listing on chains will continue and then they're going to have dashboard for prime launch lending marketing and uh, the market prime in q1 2024 in terms of uh, token revenue streams and token utility and token uh, nomics the tenant is generating fees through the gas fee in the negative ecosystem um transaction fees, fees on revenues earned by the liquid staking dollar in the ecosystem, uh, tenant LST redemption, borrowing and redemption of LSTC, and also fees from the native lending market and DEX that we will have. Revenue will be also from fees within the wallet um, through small spreads that they do with swaps and um, optimizer products. The way it's gonna um, work with the token utility is that they're gonna have the DAI positions, a diversified proof of stake infrastructure that uses uh, the LSD tokens to stake. They're also going to have the VTenet tokens, uh, which is the voting token for ensuring there's a, a reward distribution across the ecosystem. And then there's the liquid um, staking dollar coin that's uh, industry first over collateralized stable coin with zero exposure to any banks. They have the Keyless wallet, which is compatible with um, both uh, Android and Apple, and it's going to be uh, giving non-technical people, and it has no private key management, so it uses um, voice or text command to action, and then they're going to have their own text as well. So these are the sort of technologies that, as I mentioned, so DeFi, GPT, um, LSTC, and EVA are the main components of it, and then there's the metrics and tokenomics so i've mentioned the utility of the token in terms of tokenomics uh, let me quickly go to the project overview here they have a valuation of 24 million initial market cap of 240,000. total token supply is 1.2 billion um, on tg they're gonna have an unlock only for kols and public sale of 10 percent tg three months cliff and then 4.5% linear unlock every month. Now, in terms of, um, and it's going to be only on Dollmaker. In terms of the um, metrics for IDOs as well, so they will be having, um, go back, so they'll be having 30% block rewards, 20% staking, liquidity, 10% team, 10% grants, ecosystem development, um, 8% marketing and promotion, 6% partners, advisors, and consultants, 6.5% public sale, 6% reserve, and 3.5% in KOL round. KOLs uh, receive 840,000 uh, allocation at this price of 0 0.02. And there will be 10% token unlock on TGE, three months token in Cliff, and four and a half months of token linearly unlocked after that. And that's the exact same with the public sale and public sale will be able to invest 1.56 mil worth of tokens. In terms of the release schedule, um, majority of the token will be in staking. There will also be a small unlock for KOLs as well as um, investors. And then there's gonna be a block reward unlock. So that's how uh, people can participate in the launch. Um, I'll put the link to the website as well and how you can uh, do the allocation. Now, in terms of the social media analysis, they have a marketing strategy, which I'm going to describe here. So the marketing strategy is they take a no VC approach to ensure it's decentralized. And they want to have many holders from day one. That's why they started using the EVA wallet, which I'm going to go through. And the launch campaign gives the community members um, the opportunity to be active on EVA. It also gives them opportunity to use a keyless opt-in wallet to be able to participate. And also they've gone very aggressively on hiring the influencers, um, Web2 and Web3. Um, as you can see in the social media, they've got hundreds 50k followers on Twitter. They've got 53,000 uh, followers on um, the Telegram, and they're also quite active on um, their own website. If you go, which um, gives you more information. So 
this is um, their own website that you can see the test flight or Google Play. In Google Play, it's the full mode. And uh, yeah, you can read more about the test net, about the Tenet scanner and everything else that you need to know and about the development. In terms of the team partners and backers, so they've got a very um, strong team behind it. They've got the CMO previously on Anchor. And by the way, Anchor is one of the partners of the project, who is the biggest um, liquid staking uh, dollar protocol right now on Binance Smart Chain. He also has a head of growth of uh, Cardano and founder of Acash, um, which is a Cosmos software development kit. They've got the CEO, uh, Dan uh, Peterson, who uh, was in Block Demand before and uh, has very high exposure to most of the staking platforms. The CPO was product manager in uh, Tendermint and Cosmos and Composable Finance. So also very experienced in the field of uh, DeFi. Their um, CTO is uh, from Minter. So previously he was the CTO of uh, Minter and Cosmos. Head of BD and DeFi is from MakerDAO. So he's been investing in crypto and uh, involved in the space when he discovered MakerDAO and then All Ventures, member of the Hydro Ventures. I don't know about that. And then they have the head of Asia who is um, in the OTC space mainly. In terms of advisors, they've got the head of products from Anchor. They've got the director of growth from Blockdemon, the CMO of Anchor. They've got the also... Um, of someone who works is uh, open AI basically and uh, familiar with the AI language. And this is a more detail also back in here. So, um, and they've got the partnerships of Anchor, Blockdemon, Dowmaker, Everstake, and Multichain Bridging, which helps bridging LST assets across the tenant ecosystem. So they've got pretty um, strong partnerships as well uh, for the project. Now, in terms of launch, um, as far as I know for now, but you can search here, um, they have the primary launchpad being Downmaker. So if you go to Downmaker launchpad, they are raising um, 165 DAO BSC, that's around 250K plus another 250K. So 500K of the tokens are being raised uh, in Downmaker. Out of which, uh, out of which of these uh, will be half public, half private. Uh, I'll check also if there is any other launchpad involved. Not that I can see. Um, I think they might have a whitelist for their own platform. If you check their um, Telegram group, I'll put the link to that as well. Now. At the moment, to participate in the IDO, there are a couple of ways to join. One is, which I'll share my link as well, is to go to the Tenet public round. And that's going to be on Dowmaker by holding no token, just holding uh, at least $500 worth of assets in your wallet. And uh, well, interesting, that keeps changing. Um, so to hold this, you need to have $500 or more worth of assets. And um, once you join, you need to join activities. So you can join the EVA tasks, co continuously earn more points. You can do impression farming. Um, you can do referral score. If you buy new DAO maker, you get bonus points for um, holding DAO tokens and DAO power. And the wallet score also is a key point that you can have here. So you can have 10K USD worth of tokens, uh, which is 10 points, that gives you 10 points here. And also if you do a following in Twitter notification bell, it gives you uh, even further points. So these are some of the ways that you could increase your chances. I'll share the link as well for referral so you can even get a higher chance. There is a task here, as you can see, EVA task, that's here. So every day, um, first of all, I, I show you how you can participate in this. So this is the EVA wallet. And uh, to get into the EVA wallet, you have obviously uh, just go to their website. You scroll all the way up. They have a link for test flight or Google Play, depending on what you use. Test flight might be full already. 
it gives you a chance for public allocation. Uh, now, private sale is not related to tickets you get on the wallet. Now, in this, um, I don't know about the private sale. I'll have to check actually what that means. Um, so what you do is you download it. Once you download, uh, use a referral code. I guess this is someone's article, but yeah, you can use a referral code uh, to join. I'll give you my referral code. Uh, you get 10 tickets as a head start after using the code. You accumulate more tickets every day by um, doing daily rewards and daily tasks. And then uh, what you do is there's also a game that you can play. By playing the game, you need to get at least 10 points. To get one ticket, 20 points gives you two tickets. Maximum you can get ticket is 25. And also you can do referral and participate. So you can do daily tasks, as I said. And um, yeah, so as I said, there's a one-off task that you can do to gain tickets um, immediately. But for me, I don't have um, Android. I don't see all other tasks. I just see the referral. But that's also a way basically to get it. And then it converts points here, gives you more points. Uh, the maximum of 1,000 points. Uh, it gives you a chance to participate in the IDO of the project. Now, in terms of IDO and launch, they'll launch on multiple tier, tier 1 six, uh, centralized exchanges, but the timing is not clear. So all I know is that IDO is in three days finishing the registration for public, for uh, SHO for private in five days. And I heard around 25th is when the listing is going to happen. Um, it is really bullish project. Uh, Dharmaki has been investing a lot of time and marketing on it. And uh, I think it's going to do pretty well, uh, especially being on a lower market cap. But again, do your own research and see how it goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, you can ask on the comments. And make sure you like the video, you subscribe to the channel. And I hope I uh, see you next time. Good luck with your investment. Thank you.